Hello and welcome to the Women's Rugby Wrap. I'm Sarah Friend and joining me today is Alicia Lucas from the Australian Women's Seven side. Quirky, it's so good to have you here. Now we had a massive weekend of Super W and you were calling the Fijiana game on Friday night. Um, how did you see that game and who really impressed you? Yeah, it was a really impressive international Fijian side that came out against the New South Wales Waratahs girls. Um, they obviously came away with a win, the Waratahs girls, and they were really dominant um, in their set piece. Um, in their back line, I think Pile, their number 10, really controlled the game really, really well and finished excellently by Chloe Le Pepe. But they had some really strong physical defenders and obviously Grace Hamilton, as always, um, was leading from the front. And I would have loved to have seen her tackle busts and run metres because she was just incredible for them. Was that your first 15s game calling in a commentary box? as well yeah it was first to get under the belt which was a really fun experience and um, had a great um, in entertaining game to call which was really good for me I bet you those Fiji names would have been quite tough yeah the pronunciations of them were really <laughs> tough but um, myself and Patrick did do quite a good job I think at getting them out yeah you did amazing now this weekend you've got the New South Wales Waratahs hosting the Brumbies now Brumbies are two from two Waratahs still undefeated throughout the whole season uh, is this the team Brumbies could they beat New South Wales Waratahs finally I think they're a really exciting up and coming young team and I think with a young thing you have a fresh bout of confidence so you're ready to face the big giants but I think the international experience that the Waratahs got last week will put them in good stead and I think they'll just continue to steamroll over the top of teams and continue to be dominant. Uh, Saturday night we've got the Reds playing the Rebels. Now the Reds put 80 points on WA on the weekend and the Rebels they're looking really good this season. A completely new outfit, they're a little bit um, of an unknown beast as well. Yeah I think the Reds um, did really well. Um, um, bouncing back from their loss against Fijiana. But the Rebels have really put it to the teams this year. They pushed um, New South Wales all the way in really wet trying conditions. Um, and then they only lost by a penalty last week to the Brumbies. So um, it's going to be a really tough, tight battle. I think um, their captain, um, Melanie, she, as an ex-Queenslander, will be up for the fight. Um, and she'll really boost those um, Rebels girls up against the Reds. Um, but I really think the Reds' consistency and having that attack confidence and dominance that they got last weekend will really put them in good stead for a, for a win, I think, over the Rebels. Definitely. We've got some huge games this weekend. We kick things off on Friday night when the New South Wales Waratahs women host the Brumbies at Bankwest Stadium here in Sydney. That game will be at 4.35 before the men play the Lions. Now, on Saturday night, the action continues. We've got the Reds taking on the Rebels at 4.35 Australian Eastern Standard Time, which is 3.35 in Queensland. That's going to be another huge game. Don't forget you can watch all the live action right here on rugby.com.au. Now we've got double headers all weekend so all these games will also be on KO Sport and Fox Sports. I'll see you next weekend for round four.